Welcome to the Caribbean neighborhood camp. <laughs> Living in Brooklyn is nice. It's like being back home to an, to an extent. It's like most of the people in my culture actually resides in Brooklyn. So I like being in the neighborhood for that purpose. And to get the things that I like to cook. And one of the favorite things in the Caribbean, coconuts. Back home, we actually get it under the trees. And you get a cutlass, or what you all would call a machete, and cut it open. This is um, what you call breadfruit. And it's actually a thing from almost all Caribbean islands. Here we are. You got lucky. Ta da! I remember as a kid, my mommy would go into the garden and she'll bring these home. And here, this is known by different names, right? But back home, we have, we grew up doing it as buck buck, but this is really good in fish. Can you say it 10 times? Oh, uh, no, I can't say it 10 times, Caroline. Come on, buck buck. <laughs> Come on, Caroline. These are all different spices that we have in the islands. Curry, roasted jira. A lot of people use it in like wild meat. These are different candies that you get in the island. And this is something that most babies are raised and it's made from fish oil. Look, we have the dried pigeon peas. We actually grow back home and you dry it, you sit and you shell it. And I cooked it last week. And here we have banana flour for making porridge. This is one of the things that I really like to cook with. It's called shadow benny. This is really good when you're cooking fish. And here we have Caribbean sweet potatoes or, bat or batatas. This is the main ingredient that you're going to need to do what we have to do. They're so pretty. Right now they're about to go out of season. They look like candy. Yeah. <laughs> you want to eat one? No. <laughs> This is what you call dried sorrel. Around Christmas time is when you actually get the fruit. This is what you call Irish moss or sea moss. I had a sea moss drink. I didn't so, like it. No, nah, trust me. You heard what I said? I'm going to make you some. Okay. Because um, the preparation to make sea moss is like really, you have to know what you're doing. Oh, Caroline, you're not wearing clothes. I know. It's going to be freezing in there. It's yeah. okay. You sure? Okay, let's go quickly. And then you have different types of meat, right? And this is pig tails here. Mm -hmm. And this is actually um, um, pork too, but it's not the tail alone. It's like part of the rum. And that's salted beef there. Mm -hmm. And that's salted mackerel. Excuse me. So this is the end of in here. 